Hey everyone, it's Andy from Electric Petrolhead. And one of the quite important things you should probably know before you buy an electric car is how much it costs to run. When it comes to fuel in the car, this is something that's obviously quite a bit different. So, say you run a petrol car, you would have um, an idea of how much money it would cost you to fill up at the petrol station. That might be anything from 40 to 120 or even more. Um, you know, the Qashqai that we had as our, one of our previous family cars, that was about 60 to 70 quid to fill up and did maybe 400 miles to a full fill. Um, mainly lost city driving, so the MPG went down a bit. Um, but generally, people are quite sort of used to knowing that there's a, a fixed cost um, to fill up the tank and that will get you relatively a fixed mileage. Now, EVs are basically the same, they're just a little bit different to work out. So I thought I'd put this quick video together just to explain it all. So, whereas you would fill up with litres or gallons of fuel, if you have an electric car, your volume of energy is a kilowatt hour. So it doesn't really m matter too much whether that means anything, but just think of that as your unit. Um, then you have a volume of kilowatt hours that your car can take. For example, my Tesla 75D can take basically 75 kilowatt hours of energy. So you have that number. You then need to work out how much you pay per unit. 12 to 14p in the UK is quite a standard daily rate for um, electricity. So all you have to do is you times the 75 kilowatt hours times, say, let's keep to 14p for ease, take the 14 pence, and that gives you your overall cost. So that's quite straightforward. And then you can work out how many miles you would do to a full charge. So again, taking the Tesla as an example, that's about 220 miles. So you can see that the costs are quite a bit cheaper than running a petrol car or a diesel car. But the priority here is just to know that instead of going to a petrol station and buying X number of litres or gallons of fuel, you charge at home or elsewhere. Um, and as long as you know the unit cost, you can then multiply that by how much um, charge your car will take, then you have your cost. Then you can work out your mileage. On the whole, I tend to tell people that electric cars cost about 25%. So, yeah, that's about it really. I just thought I'd do a quick video and explain that. Um, I would be delighted to help anyone who's interested. So if you are watching this video and you want some help in getting some specific numbers, then have a look in the description below. You've got my email address, which is just electropetrolhead at gmail.com. More than happy to speak to you via social media, so you can find my social media links, or just search for Electric Petrol Head. And um, yeah, and obviously I'd love it if you subscribed. Um, that's always a nice thing as well. So I hope this has been sort of straightforward and useful, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.